So there's a lot of videos out there showing good reviews on sharpening stones. Good reviews are popular because they're positive and people generally like positivity. People generally don't like negativity. That's why when you're looking for something to buy, it's very difficult to actually find a negative review on something. Until today. If you're sensitive and words hurt you, please turn the video off now. There's a lot of videos on the YouTube trending page that will suit you better. Bye. <laughs>
you'll see nothing but sharpening stones <laughs> that look exactly like this one. Some may have different colors, some may be in different grits, but they're all unbranded. What these companies do is they buy these unbranded sharpening stones, they print their brand name on the sharpening stone, ship that directly to Amazon warehouses where people buy them for ridiculous prices, when in reality, they are cheap junk. Some of these manufacturers on Alibaba have minimum order sizes, meaning you have to order a thousand of them or a hundred of them in order to get that uh, kind of ridiculously low price, a couple of bucks in a lot of cases. But some of these don't. You can literally buy a single sharpening stone, 1,000, 6,000 grit sharpening stone for three to five dollars on Alibaba. These sharpening stones, the, one that you're, the ones that are being sold for $50, $60 on Amazon are the exact same sharpening stones that you can buy on Alibaba for anywhere from three to seven dollars. Again, how do I know this? Because I looked into doing the exact same thing. Starting a brand, Outdoors 55 sharpening stones, for instance. Slapping my brand name on the side of these things, using my influence here on YouTube to sell them at ridiculous prices to unsuspecting people, make a bunch of money really quickly, and then disappear without a trace, never to be heard from again. But I have a conscience. And I just cannot recommend a product with my face behind it that I would not personally use myself. And if that cost me a couple million dollars by not selling out, then that's what I have to do. So what do I personally use and recommend? If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you'll know that I recommend diamond stones. No mess, no fuss, no water, sharp knife. That's why I like these diamond plates. It's just not any simpler. Now you have to be careful with these as well because not all diamond stones are created equal. I know this because I looked into manufacturing my own diamond stones. And at the moment, there's only one brand that I trust to deliver a quality item. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below along with all the other links. I'd stay away from all of the cheap sort of knockoff Chinese branded diamond stones. I personally have not had good luck with any of them. If you're looking for quality water stones, I'll leave a link to those as well. Also, if you check out my website, which I'll leave a link to down below as well, uh, I go over uh, a whole bunch of items that I personally have used and recommend. Um, I even have some items on that uh, review page that I don't recommend, and I leave a little mini review as to why. So be sure to check that out. These are all brands and manufacturers of sharpening stones who actually care and know about sharpening. And they design their products to be good in that regard. As a disclaimer, I am not associated with any brand in particular at this time. The only thing I am associated with is the Amazon affiliate links left below. When you purchase anything through those links, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Amazon requires me to tell you this, but otherwise I am not associated with any particular brand and I can link to anything that I want. If you are one of these companies who manufacture quality sharpening equipment, reach out to me. I have zero problems promoting quality products that actually help people accomplish their goals. Now, I don't have any problems with companies making a profit. Make all the profits. What I do have a problem with is crappy, cheap stuff being sold as something of quality, selling you something you don't actually need, or products that don't even do anything. Mass Game Pro EXT, 17,000 muscles, 17 days. Ah! One half teaspoon for fast, effective relief. Pulling the wool over people's eyes with fancy marketing, fake reviews, questionable sponsorships, ad placements, and reviews from popular social media stars 
telling you how much they love this particular product. So now in order to straighten this wire out, I'm just gonna get my brand new pliers that I got from the Get A Hold Of Anything Plier Company. They're not unlike my old pliers, except that they're blue and they're new. And I'm just gonna use them to straighten out this wire because uh, you can't straighten a wire out without these uh, brand new blue pliers from the Get A Hold Of Anything Plier Company. I really like these pliers from the Get A Hold Of Anything Plier Company because they are awesome and I would not be able to straighten wires without them. So get yourself a pair. Failure to disclose a sponsorship every time is a crime. I've even been told that ads for some of these sharpening stones have run before my videos which I have no control over, by the way. That's just how AdSense works. I did not pay a cheap price for the sharpening stone. At the time, I think I paid close to $50 for this thing. Just because something's expensive doesn't make it a quality item. This is a scale model of my new submarine, the Final Destiny. It is comprised of a carbon fiber tube, a titanium end cap, and an aluminum end cap. We will be taking her to the Titanic and ticket prices will range anywhere between $337,975 and $337,972, depending on uh, how much you weigh. Call now to reserve your tickets on the Final Destiny submarine. Oh no. And get your information from a trusted source. I like how everyone all of a sudden is a submarine expert. Just about everybody who's anybody at this point is bought and paid for. Aliens are real. Our government has been covering up the fact that we have discovered crashed alien spacecraft, and we also have uh, bodies as well. So you're telling me aliens have the capability of traveling thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of light years across the universe, discover Earth, and then proceed to crash in the desert. Of course, that is correct. Was there a spaceship made out of carbon fiber, by chance? I will not take this video down, so don't even try. You know who you are. Unless you're willing to pay me one million dollars. And then we'll talk. Uh -huh.